We are under the lights this evening as we get you set for another edition of Baseball on the Show. Tonight, we've got a good matchup in store between the Baltimore Orioles and the New York Yankees. Major League Baseball on the Show is next. Jay Happ will be the starter in this one for the Yankees. Dan, any thoughts? Hey, thanks, Matt. Jay Happ, big, tall guy, about 6'4", 215 pounds. It's really put things together. Not overpowering, but pinpoint control. Really good stuff. Good fastball, good changeup, and his curveball is getting a lot better. First of three here to start the week as the game's first pitch is taken for strike one. And as the Yankees get started here tonight, guys, they come in looking to make it two in a row as they were winners last time out. Yeah, Matty, First this pick. team finds itself with a seven. huge lead, double digits right now, and climbing, playing really good That's baseball. Ball. Some people will say, oh, you don't want to have that big a lead. You start resting on your laurels. I, I, I look at it the other way, man. You've earned the right to kind of get some guys off their feet if the manager wants it. There's a lot of different ways you can go about it. This team's focused and playing One really good three. baseball. I would not worry about it. Keep pushing the throttle. That's a well-placed fastball right there, just off the outside. If you can get guys to expand the strike zone and go after that pitch, you're going to have a lot of success. No luck that time, though. Now an off-speed pitch that nearly ran in and got him. Line toward the alley in left center. Wade arranged to his left as he tracks this one down in left center for the first down. Batting second. The second baseman, Ramon Urias. Ready now for Baltimore, Ramon Urias. Here's the first pitch to him. Ball. As a veteran out on the mound, that's a pitch that you expect to get a call on. Got to believe he keeps pounding that spot until he builds a rapport with the umpire. Hit on the ground to third. Enduhar fields it cleanly. On to first, and Hap's rolling now, two away. That is third. Good pitch right, right there to run the two seamer in on his hands and right. bunch him up. And an easy ground ball is the result. In now for the O's, Trey Mancini. And he's looking to turn the page. The bat's been ice cold over the last eight or so ball games. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Pitch taken that's it, that's several ball. inches below the zone, in fact. 1 0. Sharp ground ball to third. Oh, and he can't pick it up cleanly. Throw on to Voigt, takes care of him, and the inning is over. Three up, three down for the Orioles. Orioles nothing. Yankees coming to bat. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Keegan Aiken is ready to go as he'll be on the hill for Baltimore. Dan Plezak, what's the word on him? Hey, one of the strengths of this guy is handling right-handed hitters. Right-handers coming into this game are hitting under 250 against this guy, so he's doing a lot of things right when the right-handers step into the batter's box. Here's Miguel Andujar now. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. The third baseman, Miguel. Here's the pitch. Andujar. A fastball off the plate away. It's ball one. Guys, the Orioles, as they begin play here tonight, they come in in the midst of a stretch where they've dropped six of their last nine. All right, Matty, they show up for game one of this road trip. They have to find a way to play a little bit better baseball. Coming off a recent homestand where they were only able to squeak out three wins, but at the end of the day, the way this team's been playing, three wins is a significant positive. So let's see how game one of this road trip treats them. And he fouls this one off.
Now the 2 1 pitch. Fouled off. Two and two count. Here it comes. And a changeup swung on and missed for the first out. That was aggressive pitching in that at bat, and I like seeing that. He showed all that hard expected. stuff until the fifth and stop. final pitch for the strikeout. Winter. When you work off your hard Go stuff, red. it really opens up your secondary pitches to be more deceptive. And that'll bring up Glaber Torres. As he rips it on the ground to second. Oh, and he has some trouble with it. And the recovery won't be in time as he'll beat the throw to first. That had to be that in the scouting good. report right there. The right you don't field. see too many 0-0 oh, oh, breaking Harbaugh. ball ambushes in the game that's anymore. That. He had to know that pitch was coming. Giancarlo Stanton now. And a swing from him yields a foul pop out of play to the right. Dirt here. Good job keeping it close as the count goes to one and one. Time for a look at our umpires in this one. Behind the plate is Earl Hendricks. Hey, D. Earl, Earl Hendricks. He, he's not a guy that gets a lot of complaints by either players or pitchers. He's a pretty good umpire. Yeah, Dan. Earl's got a great track record in his sport. He's pretty consistent, and overall, he's been a fair umpire. A ball and two strikes now. Torres stands at first with one out. Inside with the slider, and that'll back him up a bit. Well below the knees, laid off on the changeup there. Not a bad time right here to put that runner in motion. 3 2 count, you send the runner, and if it's a bad pitch, it's ball four. Now the payoff pitch home. On the ground now for Iglesias. This could be two. To second for one. Back to first, but he heard the footsteps that time, and the throw pulls the first baseman off the bat. And kids, the this is baseman. why you always go hard into second base. Could have been an easy double play ball, but the slide really impacts the throw to first, and they wind up only getting one out on the play. Good, aggressive, legal slide that time. Next for New York, Luke Voigt. And you can see his home road splits there. He has not fared very well in front of the home crowd, oddly enough. Here comes the first pitch. And this is just off the outside corner for a ball 1-0. Bounce it to the left side. Alberto fields it cleanly. And he'll go the short way to retire the side. The Yanks leave one. We are still scoreless. And here's Renato Nunez in past meetings with Jay Happ. He's got 12 hits in 22 tries. Also of note, the four home runs he's hit against him. First offering on its way. They'll try and entice him with a high fastball, but he wouldn't commit. It's ball one. Hey, if you're going to throw a pitch like that to this guy, that's right where you want to miss. Any lower, and he'll probably make you pay for it. A ball and a strike now. Now the one and one pitch. Hit hard on the ground to first. Oh, and he can't come up with it. A toss to Hap coming up the line as they get the out at first. That is it. The third baseman, Hunter Alberto. And digging into the batter's box will be Hanser Alberto. He had a couple of hits in yesterday's contest. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Hey, yeah. Your ball is one strike. The wind up and the 0 1. 
And a half swing here, but this is in there for a cold strike two. No score here as we play inning number two. Count remains at 0-2. Nothing in two count and the pitch. Swing and a little blooper to center. Center fielder coming on, but he won't get there. It falls in. Batting pitch. The left fielder, number 25, Anthony Santander. Anthony Santander, the next to bat. To show you what he did in May versus what he's done so far at the plate in June. Here's the first pitch to him. And he gets ahead 0 and 1. And it's quickly 0 and 2. Runners on first with one down. And it's oh. 1 and 2. Hey, I get it. He wants to set up that breaking ball down and away, but that 0 2 fastball wasn't even close. And a fastball blew it right by him, and there are two down. One of the big advantages to pitching ahead in the count if you're a pitcher, because you have that to cover seven. both pitches if you're a hitter. You have to cover the off speed and the fastball. And in the one two count, you might be sitting off speed. And what happens? He gets the fastball and he can't catch up to the express. Austin Hayes, the next to bat, as he swings and lifts it in the air out to shallow right field. Oh, and it eats him up a bit. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. Batting it. Boy, this guy's been swinging a hot stick lately, and there's just another example. And even when he doesn't hit one on the barrel, he still manages another base hit. Yeah, don't overthink it. When you're flowing like he is right now, he's hot as a pistol. Everything's falling. Pedro Severino digs in at the plate as he'll swing and hit this one hard, but foul off to the left and out of play. He's set. The 0-1 changes up on him, but that's in the dirt for a ball. A ball and two strikes to the Baltimore backstop now. Lays off two and two now. Two down runners at first and second. That's popped up. And the two out threat will not come to pass as the inning is over. Orioles strand a couple. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Here's the second baseman, D.J. LeMayhew, and he's a guy looking to break out in a big way. Hasn't been getting the results he or his club have been hoping for. LeMayhew. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. Here's the 0 1. Sent on the ground out to second. Reined in. That's and that's out number one. Batting fifth. The designated hitter, number 29. Striding forward now is the DH, Gio Urshela. First at bat for him as he enters play third in the American League batting race. What a terrific season this guy's having. Up near the leaders in batting average, without a doubt the highest average and the best hitter on this team. First offering on its way. On the ground to third. Oh, and he can't pick it up cleanly. 
And boy, yep. just about overshot his man at first, but he's able to keep a foot on the bag over that there, and that's out number two. Better feel. Well, if you're going to bobble a ball, Fine. you have to hope it's when a guy Fine. is lumbering down the base pass. He's no speedster, so that was a good job to stay calm and make the recovery throw. Striding in, Mike Talkman. And in case you haven't been keeping up the tabs on him, arguably he's been one of the hottest hitters in the league over the last seven or so games. He's ready. Here's the first offering. And a fastball to start things out here. Not close. It's a ball and no strikes. And here's a fastball that's nowhere near the zone. It's 2-0 and now. Hey, you want to talk about being in the zone? This guy's been raking lately, and it all starts with his pitch selection. Two great takes, and he's almost daring the pitcher. Just go ahead and challenge him. Slow roller out to short. Throw on to Davis, takes care of him, and that'll end the inning. Some of our nation's young minds and future leaders here in attendance. Yikes. We're back with more on this Monday night after this. Welcome back to the Bronx, where these fans have witnessed a lot of good pitching from their Yankees this season. Coming into the day, they rank first in the league in both ERA and strikeouts, a combination that has opposing lineups searching for answers. One member of the staff told me, it's a special group of guys. I've never been on a pitching staff that's so dominant top to bottom, and I've been on some pretty good ones. Now, one of the hitters on the team told me, I'm relieved I get to stand behind them and play defense instead of staring them down in the box. That can't be fun. Matt, back to you. Number 19. Good stuff, Heidi. Thanks. David. Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch. Chris wow. Davis is in to start things off as he looks at a ball to start the inning. 1-0. Now here's the pitch. That missed, that Davis, ball. who's often called Crush Davis. He was a fifth round pick during the first year player draft of 2006. Hey, nothing has been handed to this guy drafted in the middle rounds, and he has found his way in the big leagues. This has turned out. Count leverage right there, sitting dead red fastball, and he Count didn't back. miss it. Oops, nice stop. swing right there, okay. driving it into the Complete. outfield for a knock. Here's the shortstop now, Jose Iglesias. Yes, That's he'll it. take a look at ball one. Looking at his lifetime numbers, Iglesias carries a batting line a little over the 260 mark. Now the 1-0. Yeah. Iglesias. It's a strong defender playing up the middle in the infield. He's got great hands, good range, the big arm, and those skills are not lost on his teammates, his coaches, or his front office for that matter. Yeah, he has the ability. What I love about this ball player, he's got such a great internal clock. It seems like it's bang, bang at first every time, but the guy's out. He's got sure hands and an accurate throwing arm. Now batter, second baseman. Ramon Urias. Digging in for his second at bat, Ramon Urias. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Yeah, Matty, expect this pitcher to try and get the same result that's his last at bat right here. The double play is in order. Anything on the ground, the way this hey, defense is, they could certainly roll too. 0 oh, 1 the count. As a look, now the pitch. That misses wide. One ball and one strike. Third inning, no score to this point. Grounded back up the middle. LeMay here for one. On to Voigt, an inning ending double play. Nothing doing this time around for the O's. Home half of the third coming up, no score. So coming to the plate, Kyle Higashioka. And he's been swinging it well the last couple of games. The catcher, Kyle Higashioka. First pitch of the at-bat. 
And he tries to hold back on the swing, but I think it would have been ruled a strike anyway. It's nothing in one. Barely able to make contact. Down 0 and 2 now. Nothing in two count and the pitch. And he won't offer it that too high. One and two. You know, he sped him up in this at bat. Now it's time for the changeup. This guy's got a good one, and he hasn't thrown it yet in this at bat. The one two. He is swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. Boy, there's the perfect pitch right there, the straight changeup. He hadn't used it yet in this at bat, and what does he do? No he uses fielder. it, pulls the Tyler. string, and gets the big strikeout. Way. And that'll bring up Tyler Wade. As he lays off a fastball too low for ball one. 258 the average to begin play two home runs and 17 RBIs the 1 0 is taken for ball two late swing on the hitters count still a good count for him now however at two and one. Bottom of inning number three, nothing, nothing, our score. Fastball swung on and grounded out towards second. He's got it. On to Davis at first, and there are two away. The batter, the third baseman, Miguel Andujar. So it's back to the top of the order now, and striding into the plate, it'll be Miguel Andujar. First pitch coming, here it is. He'll start him here with a changeup, but it's taken for ball one. Bases are empty here with two men out. Sharp ground ball to third. Throw to first will get him easily, and the side is retired. One, two, three, go the Bombers. We'll head to the fourth, still scoreless. set for the start of the fourth and that'll bring up the power hitting outfielder Trey Mancini this game is rolling right along as we move into the middle innings with no score you'd think by now one of these two teams would be able to get some base runners on and get him in but that hasn't been the case and he gets ahead here with the fastball strike one hey this isn't exactly the way you'd like to draw it up not throwing a lot of first pitch strikes but the bottom line is he's getting outs now a fastball that's one, taken one. close that time, but it's one and one. And that one misses badly. It's ball two. Into the windup. Here's the two and one pitch. Heading out towards shallow right. Stanton has a read on it. Makes the play one away. Up next for the Orioles. So with one away, the let's punch up the graphic and show you the pitch over. speed comparison for the two starters here in the fourth inning. Both guys pretty close. Top speeds of 95 and 94. One out now in the Orioles fourth. And digging in next at the plate will be Renato Nunez. First pitch of the at bat on its way. One. Set to deliver the 0 and 1. One strike. 
Oh, look out. Hot shot to third, and there are two away. Now batting. Third baseman, Hunter Alberto. Stepping in, Hanser Alberto. He reached on a single in his first try. Yeah, guys, everyone knows he's been slumping. Dan, you can certainly attest to this, only amassing a solid one hit in your entire career. But pressure's off now. Maybe he gets hot. Well, that's a nasty breaking ball right there. Backdoor slider just missed the corner. As they say, that's a Hall of Fame pitch. No runs, three hits, and no errors for the Orioles so far. Changed up on him and dropped it in for a called strike. Gutsy pitch right there. 2-0 changeup for a strike. Good call by the catcher. Great execution by the pitcher. And he can't catch the corner here, so he's behind 3-1. and one. Team's been struggling on offense. Let your D work for you right here. Pound the zone. Ah. Three and two. Full count. Count remains full. Into the windup, ready with the payoff pitch. Hit pretty well out toward right center field. Stanton giving chase. He's there to track it down, and that'll end the inning. One, two, three, go the Orioles. On to the bottom of the fourth now, still with no score. So digging in now, Torres set to lead us off in the home half of the fourth inning. Torres! First pitch coming, here it is. That's the ball. The 1 0. Ball. Nope, ball. To be honest with you, I'm a little bit more afraid of the guy on deck than the guy that's up right now. If I'm on the mound, I want this guy up right now. He's the guy that's got to beat me. Yeehaw. And he finally gets this one over for strike one. One of the best ways to keep a guy uncomfortable is to pound him inside. They're doing that, and this one caught the zone. The 3 1. And Take that misses for ball four. It's a leadoff walk that starts at the bottom of the fourth. Well, they haven't been able to scratch a run across now yet, that, so maybe this right walk will jumpstart their offense John a little Carlo. bit. Now at the plate, Giancarlo Stanton reached by way of a fielder's choice his first time around. And they don't need anything special from him right here. They need to find a way to just move that runner up 90 feet. Don't be shocked if the sack bunk gets laid down. These are the moments in the game that can sway it one way or another while you get a W or a loss right here. Leadoff man on, heart of the order coming up. Guyana. There's a swing, and he sends a ball high in the air into left field. Boom goes the dynamite. A long two-run homer off the bat of Giancarlo Stanton, number 22 on the year, and this is now a 2 to nothing lead for the Yankees. No surprise with that swing of the bat. This guy is simply one of the best in the game right now. There's not too many guys that take a beautiful hack like that in the league. And now back now, Luke Boyd. Luke. Yes, he'll take a cold strike here on a borderline pitch at strike one. Hey, it's not always about filling up the strike zone all the time every inning. He's pitching well as we're moving into the middle innings, but interestingly, less than 50% of his first pitches have been for strikes. And a slider one one. just about gets away from him there as it runs in a bit too close for comfort. Well, I'll tell you, if he wants to turn things around, that pitch is one he's going to have to start locating a lot better. Two balls and a strike to the Yankees' first baseman. 
I don't blame him for not coming over the heart of the plate. He circled this guy on the lineup card when he got to the yard today. He's been swinging one of the hotter bats in the game. Into the windup, here's the two and one pitch. Turned on that one and crushed it, just pulled it a little foul. The 2 2. Hit back up the middle. Scooped up. On to first, so a good bounce back pitch there as he gets the ground ball for the first out. Now batting second baseman. DJ LeMahieu. And that sends DJ LeMahieu into the box. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. And a called strike down in the zone. Nothing in one. Got him to go after that one, and he's in a quick hold, 0-2. 0-2 oh, count. You could do just about anything you want right now. Up, down, in, out, hard, soft. Good time to be a pitcher. He takes strike three called on the fastball. Couldn't pull the trigger, and there are two away. Just flat out frozen there. Nothing now too batter. deceptive about that four-seam fastball, so I think he wasn't expecting it at all. That'll bring in Giovanni Urshela. A ball and no strikes. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Up top, it's 2 and 0. Hey, always a good idea to take a couple of pitches when you're facing a young arm like this one. And now he's put himself in a real good hitter's count. The 2 0. Back one. Probably better that he let that one. pitch go anyway. After seeing a lively fastball in the pitch before, it's pretty hard to sit back enough on a well thrown changeup. Gets the sign. Here comes the 2 1. On a good pitch there. Had him stretching to get out there, and it's 2 and 2 now. See, guys, he is human. Occasionally an ugly swing right there. But he's having a monster season, so I'm going to give him a free pass. Into the windup. Here comes the 2-2 pitch. Down is full. For the guy in the mound, this is one of those innings where nothing comes easy. He's thrown a bunch of pitches, and this A-B hasn't been any different. Definitely laboring at the moment. Into the windup. Ready with the payoff pitch. And awfully close there on three and two, but take your base, says Earl Hendricks. It's ball four. Yeah, the pitching coach now would hate to go to the bullpen this early in the game, but sometimes you have no choice. On the flip side, he might just get in his face a little bit out there, try to challenge him, wake him up from his funk. Either way, we'll see how it works. Into the box now, Mike Talkman. Here's the first pitch to him. Well behind that fastball. It's a swinging strike. Two runs on two hits and no errors for the Yankees so far. And he takes strike two. What a nasty pitch right there. Batter thought it was going to hit him and it ends up breaking into the zone for a strike. Well, he went for the knockout pitch that time but a good eye one and two. Man, a pitcher let the guy off easy right there. That old two pitch wasn't even close. I'd rate that as a non-competitive pitch. The one two. A runner on first with two away. And that misses two and two. He's already walked two in this inning already. This guy just can't seem to find the strike zone. Oh. 
And a fastball swung on and missed, and the side is retired. The Yankees get a couple on the two-run home run. We played four. It's now 2-0 New York. Welcome back to the Bronx as we check in with Heidi. Matt, I had a chance to discuss the state of the Orioles' offense with their manager between innings. And flat out, he told me they just need to put better swings on the ball right now. He said they're searching for ways to drive the ball with some authority because it's just not happening for them today. They haven't gotten an extra base hit yet, so it's been a real struggle getting guys into scoring position. But the key, he said, is not to panic. Sometimes you just have to fight through the downturns and keep your focus and energy high. Leading off for Baltimore. Thank you, Heidi. The left fielder, number 25, Anthony Santander. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. Boy, and he'll hold off on the slider here to start the at-bat. It's ball one. And ooh, looked like a definite pitcher's pitch there on the inside, one and one. And here's one that misses, so it's two and one now to the Oriole left fielder. Pulled high in the air out to left field. Wade is there, and he has it for the out. Now batting, the center fielder, Austin Hayes. Stepping in, Austin Hayes. One for one after a single his first time up. Now here's the pitch. No, that's up. Swung on and lifted in the air to left center. Left fielder giving chase. He gets there, and that's the second out. Up next for the Orioles, the catcher, Pedro Severino. Digging in, Pedro Severino. He popped out in his first trip. Pitch on the way. First pitch oh, fastball off the plate there, and it's ball one. Two quick outs in this inning so far. His pitch count is really down. I think one of the keys is he's been attacking the strike zone early on, making these guys swing the bat so far in this one. No, Downstairs, down. oh. two balls and no strikes. Two out, nobody on. Pitch is popped up. Void in foul ground. And no one will track it down. in there two and two he's in complete command of his two seamer right now it's got great movement great depth running all over the place this offense is going to have a tough time count full three balls and two strikes now the three and two pitch Here's a fastball now that's hit softly down the line to third. And that's a base hit. One for two in his first couple of plate appearances. Boy, d -roll, that ball wasn't hit very hard. But when you're struggling like this guy is, any knock is a good knock. Yeah, 100%. He doesn't usually get those. He has to square it up mid-barrel to find a way to get a knock. He hasn't had much luck this year, but he'll take that any day. Chris Davis at the plate now. This ball's hit a ton out to center field. Racing back the center fielder. Gone into Monument Park. A two-run shot for Chris Davis. Eighth home run on the season for him as the Orioles have come back to tie this one at two. This is a perfect example of the total concentration it takes to be a pitcher at this level. He was on cruise control, hitting his spots, preserving a two-run lead, and then boom, he misses his location, and the game is tied. Back to square one. In now, Jose Iglesias. 
short gun. He'll start him here with a changeup, but it's taken for ball one. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. That one's a called strike. Back even at one. Two balls and a strike to the Orioles' leadoff hitter. Sometimes it can be difficult for a pitcher. You're facing a guy that's not known to be a big stick in the lineup. Sometimes the toughest thing is to be aggressive and throw strikes. And this is on the inside edge, perhaps off the inside edge, but it's a called strike two and two now. Now here's one hit in the air to the right side. And nope, this one falls, so he'll get another shot. Even at two balls and two strikes, here's the pitch. Lifted in the air out to center field. Center fielder on the run. He's there to make the play, and that'll retire the side. But the Orioles strike for two thanks to the two-run home run. Bottom of the fifth coming up, and we're deadlocked now at two apiece. Welcome back to the Bronx as we check in with Heidi. Thanks, Matt. I talked with the Yankees manager Aaron Boone during the break about the team's offensive performance so far, and he said they just aren't putting enough competitive at-bats together right now. He told me he can't recall many times where they've been able to get to a full count today, and while that's not always a necessity for success, they've clearly had their struggles today, especially when it comes to making things difficult on the opposing pitching. Good stuff, Heidi. Thanks. Leading off. Set for now the for the bottom of the fifth. The and catcher. up to bat next. It'll Kyle. be the catcher, Kyle Higashioka. Higashioka. Here comes the first pitch. Pitch taken oh. several inches below the zone, in fact. Here's a blooper out toward left center. Charging in is Santander. He can't get there as it falls in. Up next for the Yankees, the left fielder, Tyler Wade. To the plate now, Tyler Wade. Bunt attempt here as he gets this one down. To second for one. But he'll put this in his pocket and be content with just the one out. That was kind of a high degree of difficulty play that time. You see the off balance throw in the second base, and he couldn't get a lot on it, but they did get the out. And that'll bring up Miguel Andujar. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. First offering on its way. High in the air out to center field. Hayes is there to put it away, and the runner will be forced to retreat back to first. Now batting, not shortstop, Waver Torres. Striding into the box, Torres. From the stretch. A fastball here as he'll take a look at ball one. One and oh. Hey, this guy's got to be pretty proud of what he's done so far. It's never easy to pitch on the road, but to have this kind of outing in a ballpark that is notoriously known as being hitter friendly, it's been a treat to watch. And he falls behind now, two and oh. You thank your lucky stars when you get a chance to hit behind a guy with as much speed as he has on first base. The entire defense is on guard, and you know probably there's a fastball coming. Ready with the 2-0 pitch. Line drive to left. In there, a base hit. Now batting. The right fielder, John Carlo. Jensen. And digging into the batter's box next will be Giancarlo Stanton. No balls and a strike to count. Ah. 
and it's one and one. There's a swing, and he sends a ball high in the air into left field. Boom goes the dynamite. three-run home run for Giancarlo Stanton, his second of the game, and just like that, it's now a 5-2 ball game. Second home run of the game right there. He is locked in at the plate. You hear so many of today's players talk about rhythm and timing. Well, he is perfectly on time in the heart of the zone. Up next Into the box man. now, Luke Boyd. The first baseman. He swings and hits it foul off to the right and out of play. 0 for 2 for him to this point. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Outside part of the plate, the changeup is in there. Looks like a lefty and a right hander throwing in the Baltimore bullpen. Three runs already home here. Now look out as he's got to hit the deck here. It's ball one. And he strikes him out here so he's able to stop the bleeding a bit as the side is retired. Another look at the big blow for the Bombers. A three-run home run. Five innings complete. It's now 5-2 New York. Top half of the sixth about to get started. And that'll bring in the second baseman, Ramon Urias. Ramon Urias. First delivery to him on the way. Fastball too high to start him out here, 1-0. pitch on the way hit the other way out toward right field Stanton has a read on it one away the right fielder number 16 Trey Mancini stepping into the box Trey Mancini no hits to this point On its way is pitch number 75. Ball, that's not that. Right guy, right spot. This is one of the better hitters in their lineup. Just the guy they want to see coming up now to get this inning going. Lays off uh -huh. again, oh. and it's 2-0. and 2-0. And that's down into left center for a base hit. Running hard. He's digging for second. And he is in at second base with a one-out double. There's no question he's been struggling at the dish lately, trying to do anything to get himself going. So he's got to feel pretty good after that double. Not to take anything away from him, but I think I could have probably hit that pitch. Yeah, that's one of those gift pitches, not the location he was shooting for. Stepping in now, Renato Nunez. And he puts it on the ground to second. Gloved by LeMahieu. And there are two away now. now and this is not an easy play when you have to range to your right. He really didn't have a chance to get his feet set, so this is all arm. Nicely done. Now at the plate, Hanser Alberto. Runner in scoring position with Sugan. Here comes the first pitch. Fastball misses in the dirt as he tried to get him to chase the low one. 5 2 is our score here in inning number six. Ball two now. Non competitive pitch right there runs the count to 2 0, and he is ready to do some damage in the box. From the stretch. 
Line drive snagged on a short hop. Throw on to Voigt takes care of him, and the inning is over. Orioles lead one, and the deficit remains five to two. Hector Velasquez enters to do now the pitching in the bottom of the sixth. Number 76, Hector Velasquez. Ready to go for the last half of the inning, and that'll bring we in got DJ LeMahieu. The, the second baseman, DJ LeMahieu. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Ball. One out. The one zero. -oh. No, that's down. Ball. Grounded down the third baseline. Alberto has it. Throw on to first in time, one away. Now batting, number 29. To the plate now is the designated hitter, Gio Urshela. It was a walk in his last trip. Set and the pitch. Fastball too high to start him out here, 1 0. Velasquez, the native of Mexico, he's in his fourth season as a major league player. One out, nobody on. Sent on the ground out to second. On to Davis at first, and there are two away. Now batting. The center fielder, Mike Tuckman. Striding in once again, Mike Tuckman. Third trip to the plate for him here tonight. 0 for 2 at this point. First pitch of the at bat. one count here's the pitch boy he comes back with a beautiful pitch there and he's dominating this at bat it's 0 and 2 now real ugly 0 one swing there as a pitcher you've got to be hunting for the strikeout knowing you have this guy way off balance not a bad pitch there with two strikes but it misses one and two one ball two strikes Now here's the pitch. Popped him up. Severino is under it. Makes the catch and that'll retire the side. So the Yanks go one two three and it remains five to two. Ben Heller is on to pitch from the bullpen now to start inning number seven. For the Yankees, number 61, Ben Heller. Digging in, Anthony Santander. He's hitless in his two at bats so far. Number 25, Anthony Santander. Infield shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. No, that's inside. And no, maybe a little frustrated ball. on the mound here as the fastball no. misses for ball two now. Two well count, the pitch. Finds the zone, strike one. Hey, that pitch right there caught entirely too much of the plate. Curveball that rolled over the heart of the plate. He's got to pull the trigger on that one. 
into the corner and slicing foul. Fastball swung on and missed for the first down. You know what was really impressive to me about that strikeout? He fell behind 2-0 to Up start the at-bat. That's a pretty the bad place field. to be, but Off then he field. kind of refocused himself and came right back with three quality pitches in a row to sit him down. That's not easy to do, but now his focus has to hone in on getting ahead on the All next right. guy. In there at the knees, strike one. Pitch in the one dirt as he three. lays off. It's one and one. No oh. offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Big sweeping breaking ball right there. Good pitch. But if he wants to get him to swing at it, he'll have to bring it in a little bit closer to the strike zone. Now the 2 1. Hit in the air to straightaway center. Tuckman is back and he'll get there to make the play for route number two. The catcher, number 28, Pedro Severino. Now at the plate, Pedro Severino. He's working on a one for two game so far. First pitch on its way. There's the fastball that gets the lower part of the zone called for a strike. This is in the air to right. Stanton is under it, and he makes the catch for out number three. Three up, three down for the Orioles. They trail 5-2. Wade LeBlanc gets the call from the pen to take over on the mound and start the home seventh. Wade LeBlanc. Bottom of the inning now, and now it'll Leading be the catcher, the Kyle Yankees. Higashioka. The catcher, Kyle Higashioka. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Slapped hard the opposite way. And this is a fair ball as it'll head for the 314 sign. And he's able to hustle his way up to second as he'll reach here with a two base hit. Now back. Wow, he Let's almost blew that fastball by him, but he shows some quick hands to catch up to it and drive it down the opposite line. Didn't keep it fair by much, but he did, and that's a nice two bagger. Into the box, Tyler Wade. And there's a swing and a miss at an off speed pitch to start him out. Nothing in one. And here's a swing and a miss as he falls behind. Nothing in two. Got to believe you're going to get some tough pitches in this count with the base open at first. This is where you have to regroup and find a way to get a good pitch to drive in that run. Ready on 0 and 2. ball sent back up the middle and oh the throw oh. pulls the first baseman off the bag and he'll reach it first well it's now up until the seventh but he gets his first hit of the game he here did. and that'll extend his hitting streak yeah and he didn't come out of his he didn't come out of what he was trying to do all day Dan kept the front shoulder tough kept the ice water in his veins and didn't try and get too big extends the hitting streak nice job you know D Rowe, I talked to him before the game about the streak and he said the toughest part is he hopes to get hits early in the game to take the pressure off. He had to wait to the seventh inning in this one to come through.
from the belt. Kicks and deals. Miguel Andujar is at the plate here as he quickly finds himself down a strike. It's 0-1. No problem with that take right there. First pitch from a reliever. Got to calibrate that velocity. The 0-1 on its way. That missed. That's the ball. 1-1. One one. And, and he comes back with a fastball. 1-2 and two now. With two strikes now and a runner at first, do you go for the strikeout or are you still looking for the double play ball? Good time to try to put the ball down in the strike zone. You can either get a strikeout or a potential double play ball. The one two is laid off ball. for ball two. Two and two. Here now the 2-2. Line drive to left. Catch will be made here. Tagging is the runner from third. They'll cash in here as the run is in to score from third. Well, he hit that ball pretty well, but the only problem was that he pulled off it just a bit. The location was a little on the outer half, so he would have hit it even better if he would have stayed through the middle of the field with it. Digging in and looking for more. Torres, two hits and two trips for him thus far. First things first, here's a throw over. And he has to dive, but he's back in easily. From the belt, the pitch. Yeah. Hey, there aren't too many power oh, hitters in the game that would let that pitch go by. On its way, the 0 1 pitch down the first baseline. But this will be a foul ball as he's behind 0 2 now. Now a throw over, hey. just keeping him close. Runner at first here, one man out. Swing and a miss on the changeup, and there are two gone. Pretty textbook pitching right there. Jump ahead in the count, 0-2, and then start working outside the right zone. Field. Easier said than Jump done, Carlo. but that's the way you do it. Center. Standing in now, Giancarlo Stanton. Pops this one up just beyond the infield on the right side. Urias is there to make the catch, and the side is retired. So a run on two hits, no errors, and a man left. Eighth inning coming up. The Yankees are out in front, six to two. Your Luis Sessa has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Number 85, Luis. Chris Davis will stand in again as we flash you back to earlier. He's accounted for their only runs of the ball game on one swing of the bat as this was the swing right here. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Wind up and the 0 1. Well out in front of the breaking ball there for a strike. And he'll try and tempt him with one in the dirt, but he'll hold back here. It's 1 and 2. And it looks like the Yankees will have a left-hander up and throwing in the bullpen. The one-two. is swung on and missed strike three. 
Well, we've seen some really good pitching from these guys in this one. The bullpen has looked sharp and have backed up a nice effort turned in by the starter. These days, pitching has become a full staff effort, and I've been impressed with the job these guys have done so far. At the plate now, Jose Iglesias, as he will take a look at a fastball in there as that strike zone expands just a little. It's 0 and 1. Bases are empty, one man out. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Long run for the center fielder. He gets there and makes a fine running play for the second out. Now batting. Second baseman, Ramon Urias. Now in the box, Ramon Urias. They're quickly down to their final four outs here tonight. Here's the pitch. Here's a slider that's inside, 1 and 0. Skied into straightaway right. Stanton is camped under this one. And that will retire the side. One, two, three, go the Orioles. They still trail here. It's six to two. Richard Blyer is on the pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Number 48, Richard Blyer. So now it'll be the four-hole hitter, Luke Voigt. He went down Yankees. on strikes last time up. Yeah, but it was a good changeup, Matty. Good arm action on that pitch. Look for him to try and stay back a little bit more. Let the ball get a little deeper. Don't be shocked if this pitcher tries to rush a heater right here. The 1-0 home. Count even now at 1-1. One Hangs on him a bit that time as it's belted out toward deep center field. Oh, but that'll be shy of the monuments as it hits off the wall. And he is in the second base with a leadoff double. Sometimes when a reliever oh, comes in the game, he wants to get that first second strike so man. bad that he yeah. serves one up. And that's exactly Love what Matthew. happens here. The first batter he faces just rockets one off the wall. And now he's got to worry about another base hit, potentially bringing home a run. So now to the plate, D.J. LeMayhew. And on the first pitch, he hits it in the air to right. Therefore, it is Mancini, and that's the first out of the inning. The throw is wild, and it gets away. Now batter, number 29. Next will be the designated hitter, Gio Urshela. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. First offering on its way. That one's down around the knees, taken for a strike. So far this season, Urshela is carrying around a batting average in the 320s. That's what you might call potent. Yeah, this is a great spot for him right now. He just seems to have been picking up left-handed pitching great all season long. Count now a ball and a strike. Now the one and one pitch hit the other way out toward right field. Mancini is there two down. Up next for the Yankees. The center fielder. Mike. Talkman. Ready for another chance. Mike Talkman. No hits in three tries so far. He struck out once. First pitch coming, here it is. Yeah. Two out here and a runner at second. Now a swing and a miss at a slider oh, for a strike. I know that feeling. Played 14 years in the big leagues and still can't hit a slider. This one's in the dirt. 
And he's going to make it up to third here as he advances on the wild pitch. That can be a tough read as a runner on second to see if the ball has gotten away enough to move to third. You have to be sure you can make it. He was there, and now he's only 90 feet away. Men on third with two down. And he takes very close to the inside corner here. Two and two, though. And that's into the corner of foul ball and right. Three and two to the Yankee center fielder. When a pitcher's close to working through a quick inning, that's when you really need to grind out some at-bats. He's done a good job of that, and that's really big when you're hitting towards the bottom of the order. Now the three and two pitch. Hit hard to short. Iglesias is there. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as the side is retired. One left for the Yankees. They lead it six to two. Your Zach Britton please. comes on from the pen, now, hoping to finish this one team. off here in the top of the ninth. Number 53, Zach Britton. All set to start the ninth in this one, Maybe and that'll bring up the power hitting outfielder, right Trey Mancini. Trey Mancini. Here comes the first pitch. Nope, ball. The 1 0 home. Ball. Oh. Hit. Nip the corner. Two and two. And here's a ball hit in the air. But this is going to wind up a foul ball. Here's another 2-2. And a swing and a miss. Good pitch there for the first out here in the ninth. Now batting. The designated hitter. Renato Nunez. And now the designated hitter for the Orioles, Renato Nunez. He could really use a knock here, 0 for 3 in the game so far. First pitch on its way. One out, nobody on. Ball that's one. It. That's the ball. One one. Line toward the gap in left center. And this is into the alley and ought to be good for extra bases. And he'll pull into second with one away. Everyone knows that this now guy's that numbers are not where he wants them to be so far this now year, but you never know by that swing. He looked fluid and confident driving that pitch for a double. We'll see if that gets him going a bit. To the plate now, Hanser Alberto, and it's fouled away. Another one fouled off, and he's quickly behind 0 2. Runner at second here with one man out. Hold.
pulls this one in the air out to left. Left fielder giving chase. He makes the play. Really had to hustle to get to that one. Two gone now. The left fielder, number 25, Anthony Santander. So stepping in, Anthony Santander. He comes to the plate as the last chance for his side. Two out here in the ninth. Here's the first pitch to him. And he'll hold off on the slider here to start the at-bat. It's ball one. You know, in this situation, you almost have to pitch like there's no one on base. That run really doesn't mean anything with the lead they've got. The hitter is the guy that can turn this game on its head. Two and zero oh to the nope. Baltimore left fielder. Now you can see he's working around this guy right here. Why not? First base is open. Walk wouldn't be the worst thing in this spot. Ready with the two zero. -oh. Swing and a miss, two and one. one Got to sit middle middle when a guy's trying to pitch around you. If he's going to give you first base, take it. Won't go three after ball. the two one no sinker, strike. and it's three balls in a strike now. Austin Hayes would be next if they can keep this inning alive. Runner in scoring position at second with two down. Good pitch as this is swung on and missed and now they're down to perhaps their final strike of the evening. A crowd of over 39,000 on their feet. Swing and a miss. He struck him out and that'll do it here as the ball game is over. Always nice to get the first game of the series but even more so when it's in front of the home crowd. Seems to energize everybody the rest of the series. And tonight's ends at a 6-2 finish. New York used a nice fifth inning to take the lead, and they never gave it back. Jay Happ earned his ninth win of the year. So that's a wrap here tonight. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and Heidi Watney, this is Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, find us on Twitter, at MLB The Show.